Uh, it, was, it did struggle into the Lyra. And a couple other teams have tried it as well. Picking no it. one has found success just yet. I so my the question is, is it? I don't know. It's a lot is of it a Captain Glade? Hammers. I've, I don't really know where I am anymore, so you guys take it. It could it could easily be a Captain Glaive or <laughs> a Captain also, yeah. uh, Grump Jaw. Your damage is going to scale better on the Glaive, yeah, which is None great. other than Flash X piloting it. This is going to be the game where they come back, I think. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Hammer's a 1-0 one -oh, one -oh right now against the best team in NA, right? Well, Grump Jaw so far has not been very good so far. He's not had much of a success rate in either EU or NA. And it'll be good to see how Flash X is going to be trying to pull this one off because I feel like he's a very difficult hero to maneuver. And as one of the newer ones, I don't think he's. He's not actually in the meta at all, to be honest. And Flash X, he's going to have to work so hard and try and just get, the, just get his skills synergizing with the rest of his teams. I mean, he's very, very good at picking one person off, but I mean, chicken on the Lyra. It's going to be extremely hard to do so. Lyra is just such a hard counter to so many engage heroes and compositions. And that's exactly what Flash X wants to do. So I think that's going to be the main problem of TSM. Just actually getting to starting all over. That's very true. Lyra again using her bulwark. I think gave Vizzle earlier on. It was a great example of it. Using it to snare members. And I think it was going to make things very difficult for Flash X as well. Especially trying to get his stuff skilled out. Even trying to catch starting all over is going to be a very difficult movement to maneuver. Speaking of movements to maneuvers, obviously T Tiger's now looking towards Von C in his own jungle. He's going to poke him out. Not an issue. I mean, Von C, he's on the glaive again. So, obviously, a very, very favorable pick among many teams right now, just being able to pick people off. It just didn't work last game whatsoever. And we'll have to wait and see if uh, he is able to actually make it work this time, because... You know, he has to play less aggressive this time. But on the other hand, on the flip side, he does have Grump Jaw to back him up. I think part of the reason it wasn't working the last game was that they weren't really able to land their chain. Oh, hang on. He's just Ooh. going in. Talking about chain. Nope, denied. Whoa, hang on. Hang on a second. Chicken is going to go really low into tower. Best check on A. Adagio with the final shoot of his little lasery thing does pick up the kill. Hammers, I thought for sure their chicken had disengaged. But no, TSM decide they are not done with Hammers just yet. It was a very nice ball coming up from the chicken one two three. There was did able to, was able to snare Flash X, but it was a very aggressive dive. And this is something that TSM can afford to do in the early parts of the game. I think once you get to the later stages, starting all over isn't such a massive issue. You said this earlier. He's a we, we saw in the last game very strong in that late game, and I think it's one of his best heroes that we've seen. He's always been consistently good at it in the past few seasons. So it's gonna be a very difficult challenge for TSM already, just looking at that Ringo. Yeah, Ringo, is just, it's just such a staple right now, and with good reason. It's maybe, obviously, got a bit of a weak early game, but the problem is, when it gets going, it just gets unstoppable. It, double monocle is something we see all too often, and the last game build as well, which is Sorrow Blade breaking point into the monocle, just absolutely ripped through TSM's lineup. And we're starting all over, grabbing this hero again. He's just performed with it so far, so I can't imagine he's not going to do the same again. One thing that I do want to say is that Bonsi, he's going for the old school glaive build. Last time he went for the Stormcrown Aftershock. This time he's going for the old school weapon glaive build. Something that we don't see as much. But yeah, Stormcrown glaive build is something that's just become very popular this spring season. Yes, indeed. I mean, do you think it's it's more to do with kind of just farming your jungle up and then waiting for these massive engagements or do you think it's more it is kind of more there for the utility and just kind of synergizing with your with your carry a little bit more or just kind of taking objectives i think part of the reason is that the storm crying off is the true damage and then you have the the aftershock giving that really bursty damage as well and every single after when it goes and you can see it doing a lot of damage with bonzi he's going Spe in. yeah speaking of damage sea tigers does get punted back but look at that damage trade up there starting all over going so aggressive as soon as t tigers was knocked back tsm would just ignore him completely and starting all over was able to free hit that front line and there he goes yet again picking up another kill chicken in fact picks that one up t tigers going fairly low oh it's gonna get jumped on by flash x no the sigil doesn't land in time his little flying saucer zips up in the air and Flash X is going to secure himself a kill, but two on the side yet again of starting all over. Starting over just did a lot of damage to that turret. 
And I want to say the Grump Jug every single time. He's just being blocked by Chicken123 with that ball work. It just happened again. Monty being super aggressive. I think he's going for starting all over. And he's just going to back away. I think both of the teams, I think we'll be seeing Chicken and Flash X going to the shops and at least going back to base to be picking up those fountains. Chicken's just picked up his. We want Flash X to be picking up, pick, picking up his fairly soon. And actually also going for even the war treads as well, just to close the distance. Because I feel like Vonti is really struggling to get under starting all over. Having those war treads just to close the distance would help a lot in the team fights. Yeah, we've seen a couple of pickups of really early tier 3 boots and for that exact reason just making sure you can get on top of the carries in the early stages and then it just makes sure you can do that in the later stages as well and just giving your team that extra bit of utility is always very very helpful to someone like a glaive and uh, and a grumjaw so i can imagine that's something they're going to want to prioritize but they're going to prioritize defending their turret right now because it does end up falling hammers very very aggressive playing right now and with that turret going down six minutes into the game with starting all over he's getting there in terms of items he's got his sorrow blade now he's just doing so much work and so much damage hasn't even hit the level six yet i can't imagine he's going to slow down anytime soon chicken trying to bait TSM in. They're going to go on to Flash X. Chuck, Best Jack and A is taking a lot of damage as well. Starting all over. Starts stepping like a boss. Here's Von C. Jumps over the wall. Jumps onto T-Tigers. But Bright Woolwork is going to come down. Just saving his life. Von C is going to get aggressed on yet again. A couple more hits. But no. T-Tigers is after, going to have to retreat here as Hammers. They do overstay their welcome. I think one thing that concerns me about this Ringle Grumpjaw matchup specifically is that Grumpjaw is a very slow character. If you look at the stats, his base mobility is very low. And starting all over picks up that breaking point, it's going to be so easy for him to be building those breaking point stacks on him onto Flash X before switching to Best Drop NA or Vat 1C. And that thing's gonna, I think that's going to be a very real concern for TSM in the future. He's already a little bit behind. Starting all over is going to leave him alone. But like you said, starting all over doing a lot of damage. And right now, there's I'm not seeing TSM really having much success when they're trying to get onto him. Yeah, look, they're having zero success, and I think that's that's the kind of issue there. They need to be able to kind of get these level six engages with Flash X. Just om nom 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 nom. Make sure they can just swallow up starting all over, and then they can focus down Chicken, or they can vo focus down T Tigers, and then they can win the fight off there. But the problem is that engagement to start off with is always thwarted by Chicken. I think that's the most important thing. Chicken, Lyra, this, this is the reason why Lyra's just being banned out so much, or she's being such a priority to pick every single time. Just if you can play Lyra really well, it really shows. It just completely can just change the team fight. And Harris has been doing a really good job of it. Chicken one two three, really good start. They've actually managed to draw ahead one point five gold lead. They've got their one tower up as well, and they're just getting to position to take that gold mine. The fight's going to break out. Oh, there comes the bright ball yet again, and Flash X just almost getting taken out instantly. Von C is going to have to afterburn away. Hammers aren't going to stop just yet. Hellfire Brew does come out, lands on Flash X. That burning damage should not kill him, as best Chuck on it is going to be able to heal him up quite nicely. But yet again, bright ball comes down. Flash X cannot get off anything, and by the time it disappears, he's almost already dead. It's happening every single time, and Grumpjaw. <laughs> It's not working for me personally. He feels like he's not doing too much. He has reached the level 6 now, so he does have the stuffed ability available. He's kind of waiting for it to have, make some any kind of meaningful impacts. t Tigers would actually be a really good target for him because t Tigers does not have that reflex block yet. Starting all over does. And he might be saving that for the afterburn coming out from Von C or maybe even the Verus of Judgment coming out from Best Chuck NA. So there's a lot of things, a lot of crowd control that TSM do have in their arsenal. Flash X, going Ooh, Flash X has found somebody. Oh, om nom 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 nom. Passageway is going to get followed through, though. And T Tigers is going to be able to escape. Ponzi does follow it also. T Tigers being stunned up. Does get afterburned into the back line. Starting all over on the sidelines here. Doing a lot of damage. Flash X, not really too much left. Burst comes out. Is going to get blocked. So starting all over only takes a little bit of damage. And T Tigers is going to have to hop away as well. Uses that trampoline to such good effect. Hammers with a fantastic use of the passageway. Flash X looking for something a little bit more here. Starting all over, just gets destroyed by Best Chunk. T Tigers is going to get aggressed on as well. Von C is going to help himself to that kill. Grump Jaw did go, uh, did go down in the back line there. Best Chicken is going to have to really show up right now. Best Chicken. He's not the best chicken <laughs> best in there. He's chicken. best on Lyra, though. That's for oh, sure he is right very now. strong. Turret is uh, going to go down, however. <laughs> the turret is going to go down. So with that fight, where do we start? It went on for so long. Started off with Flash X initiating with the stuff. It was really great. I did say that right before that fight, that T-Hairs did not have that reflex block, so he was a target to go for. They were able to pick on him. 
But I think there was a moment in that fight where it felt like TSM just kind of lost their focus. They were all going for different members. That wasn't really working out very well for them. So starting over was able to retreat to the back line, just build up those breaking point stacks. But Von C, his afterburns really came through there. I was able to punt starting all over back into them. And that's what you need to be doing. Von C is actually looking for those sustained fights now. He's not as bursty as he was. He's looking for those sustained team fights and it's paying off for them. Paying off so, so well. But, I mean, it's so even right now. That's the thing. I mean, Hammers, they looked very, very strong in the early game. And then they came through with the victory. And TSM, they, they fell, fell to the side and just couldn't really pick themselves up after those after those over extensions from von c but they kind of reeled themselves back in i think now they're not going for these crazy engages and flash x has obviously found a nice stuff and it did par partially win them the team fight but hammer's still coming out on top majority of the time bright ball work does go down yet again as they start up this is small engagement starting all over is in the front line he's gonna have to be careful there goes the start but flash x almost falls actually passageway is gonna get followed through so chicken's gonna find himself but petal's already down t tigers is gonna fall same with starting all over now chicken trying to find the passageway back through ends up picking up flash x but sacrifices his own life well, tsm get the ace though and <laughs> they, oh, this stuff is working out so well he was able to take starting out over them starting all over in that fight just take him out the fight completely and just allow best shock and anvonsi to focus on t tigers which they did very quickly because t tigers he has no defense he's got that light shield that's not doing anything right now and when starting all over came back out they were to switch the focus onto him very nicely executed by TSM. I did have my doubts about how this composition is working. But right now, the Glaive and Grump Jaw combination is actually working out quite well for them. They're actually not using all their abilities on the same person, but just spacing them out just enough that does catch that Hammer's unaware. Yeah, completely unaware, it seems. Pick in. Oh, got to be a little bit careful here, buddy. Flash X has got his stuff available to him now. He's going to dash forward, almost picks up starting all over. It's a very, very reactive reflex block there. Did not want to get picked up yet again. I could have ended in a quite a bit of a disaster for them. TSM, they are up seven kills now to four. Gold lead, pretty much even though. Gold miner is going to go down, which will mean they will even uh, they'll be even further ahead. So TSM, they're looking very, very good in this game now with hammers needing to look for these engagements. Maybe a little bit slower because every single time stuff goes off, they all TSM always seem to bring it home. Well, we just see Flash X picking up the war chest now. This is something that's very important for them. Actually, never mind. They're initiating with the Hellfire Brew. But nothing's going to happen. And nothing at all. Rip. Nope. Nothing at all. Starting all over as a fusion has just run out. T-Tigers and fusion is about to run out fairly soon as well. And that actually leaves Vonsi in a very good position because he's recently started his level 10 infusion. And we might be seeing an initiation. Oh, yet again. There goes Flash X straight on in. Does pick up T-Tigers in the stuffed he's going to be stuffed in a minute does follow the pass all the way through he's going to survive it but he's left his team completely in ruins starting all over falls tsm in a 2v 2v3 situation right now chicken is going to be able to get the recall off t tigers he's in a bad spot does get afterburn does get double killed as well von c really coming up big this time with the breaking point as well but mind i mind you sorry blade breaking point he's doing an absolute ton of damage he is do he's doing so much damage. And as you can see, the same for starting all over there. But TSM, the Von C, the Afterburn is really catching starting all over out. And so is the stuff. I'm actually very surprised it's not being blocked as often as we think it is. He's actually managed to pick a target up every single time. It's usually T-Sagers. He's taking him away. T-Sagers forced to use his trampoline away. And that leaves starting all over in the middle of the fight for TSM to focus on. Every single time this is happening, I think this is three consecutive team fights now that TSM have been able to pull this off. And it's not looking so good for Hammers. We just need to find if they're able to block that stuffed ability, and then maybe the Afterburn as well, then they can start turning that fight around. Oof, maybe double Crucible then. Maybe. Just maybe. <laughs> Just <laughs> Coming out maybe. from Chicken and T-Tigers. That I mean, that would, that would stop it 100%. But the problem is with the stuffed is it can be very hard to see. The ability actually going off and you will have really have to keep your eyes peeled i mean starting all over preactively uh preemptively blocked one of them but it's just incredibly hard to see when everybody's on top of you and everybody's actually trying to kill you at one point as well and as they're just scouting around right now they'll get spotted out by the scout trap as well so they're just gonna have to rotate does it look like tsm are going to look for a pick off as well flash x has got his ultimate up 
Got to be very, very careful now for Hammers. Flash X is going to spot somebody. As soon as he jumps on someone from Hammers, they end up going down. Best Chuck and A takes a Hellfire through. There comes Flash X. He is going to get blocked, though, but he can go in yet again. Passageway is going to come through. There goes Vontee. He's on the back line once more. Sliding all over, somehow surviving. Vontee is going to go really low. There comes the Scarf. First of Judgment comes down. Doesn't really do much. He's starting all over. Does manage to pick up the kill. Flash X trying to chase him down. Vontee and T-Tigers having a 1v1 in the bottom line as well. Will be able to just survive it. Finally gets taken out. Flash X still trying to chase, starting all over. Still not going down somehow. There we go. Finally fix up the kill. He's going to be able to run away possibly. And that'll be Hammers once again. Kind of pushing this to the limit and making sure Flash X cannot get that stuffed ability off. Finally falls. The ace buff goes through as well. Will relieve a little bit of that pressure that they got put under a second ago. I actually feel like the, the stuff was used a little bit late. He used it mid-fight, or picked up two tigers and starting all over probably which should have been the main target. Nobody was really focusing him, he was building a lot of breaking point stacks. And I think actually Harold Hammers also prematurely used the crucible, thinking that the stuff was coming, but it didn't actually come that early on. I'm actually quite impressed at how many eggs, sorry, how many seeds two tigers is planting right now. Uh, he's got a few. I mean, it, those little alien eggs. But more than a few. Question. Oh yes. Well, it's to stop best, uh, best Jack and A. Just get into them, you know. Kraken Ooh. is going to go over. There we go. Wolf, that was very close. They do manage to secure it with starting all over. Finally arriving. That will mean best chicken. He's not going to be best chicken. It's best Chuck. <laughs> not the best chicken. Best Chuck and hey, is not going to be able to find that. Infusions do come across the board. But hey, be best chicken. He's looking good right now. He's the best chicken I know. Uh, how many chickens do you know? One. Best. Uh, well, chicken one, two, three. Yeah, he's the only chicken. That that he question. is the best chicken. Exactly. I guess. So that Kraken, probably we got to get one turret down from this. There's a lot of pressure that Hammers can apply with this Kraken TSM. They just need to focus on taking that Kraken down. Oh, never mind. Flash X is actually going in. Oof, he does. He does get bright bulwarks, though. He's trying to go in again. War Treads do come out. They've got to be careful. He does go really low. Starting all over, treading up a lot of that damage. That kite potential is absolutely massive. Patchway gets followed through. Here comes the first judgment from Best Chuck and A. Doesn't manage to find anybody. And now Flash X is alone under his turret. He ends up falling as well. T Tigers is going to be able to pick up the kill. Von C has to afterburn away. That Kraken was still wailing on that turret. Meanwhile, will that mean it hammers up? Will that mean they get to the vein crystal we'll have to wait and see second turret getting down von c only member left standing best chuck and a is going to spawn in a couple of seconds flash x as well hammers are gonna have to play this one very very carefully best chuck has got versus judgment available in 20 seconds too in passageway he gets followed through from chicken again starting all over is trying to find something here just going a little bit too deep does get healed up just trying to go for the turret just focusing it really well kraken does take it so it's gonna be a three turret lead now four hammers they do lose two however this chicken does try and run away they're probably going to be able to pick him up off the back of this one though no problem and that'll be tsm getting the ace but more importantly hammers getting three turrets Make that four, actually. Both those uh, crystal ones went down. Yes, the crystal is left on its own. I don't think TSM can get to the base turrets in time. And if they do, they're going to be left in a position where they do have to fight all the members of Hammers. And I'm not sure if they can win this one. I think in the last fight, it was a really good example of this Flash X. He doesn't do so well if they can see exactly where he is. If he's able to catch them by surprise, that's when he does the best. We saw starting over, just building up all the stacks. Are they going to go for this? I don't know if they should. Whoa, that he was not him. blocked whatsoever. Flash X just om nom 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 nom, starting all over. That turret is going to fall. TSM, they're looking for the W here. They need this victory. They're going to come through. The Vein Crystal is completely exposed. They're still surviving this somehow. Once he's on the back line, Flash X can he get the last couple of hits? No, he cannot. Oh, Ace comes through, Hammer's Velocity! My god, where did that come from? They spawn in the perfect time. That Vein Crystal is one auto attack away, and I think they've done it, Jingy. I think they have done it. I don't think that, do not think TSM are going to win three weeks in a row now. This looks like a very easy 2 well, not very easy, but easy enough 2 0 <laughs> for Hammer's. That, this game. They're not going to, yeah, they're definitely getting that turret. There's that crystal. There is nothing that I see that TSM can do to change this. Whoa. What an upset coming through from Hammers 2 0ing. TSM, the number one seed in the region right now, and arguably the best team as well. What a surprising victory. And I thought this was going to go to three games, but turned out it was only going to go to two. Hammers, where did they?